Uh, my name is Kamal Warren and uh, I day trade the FTSE 100. So now you have two businesses, so what do you tell people that you do for a living? It's a creature of habit. Uh, I tell people that I'm an accountant, which, which I still am. Yeah. Uh, I'm an accountant slash tax advisor, that's what I tell people I do. Uh, I don't need to complicate that more than <laughs> <laughs> more than I need to, so yes. Okay. So what would you say it was like to make a living out of trading? It, it can get very stressful, uh, very lonely. It's not as exciting as people might think it is. Um, but if it's 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 a good way because if you can if you can master trading, whatever that you want to trade, be it commodities or forex or and million other things out there you can trade with um, it can be extremely profitable given that if you know what you're doing and you have going by what I said mentioned earlier if you have uh, devoted uh, invested enough time in, in studying and, and 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 becoming good at it but then again it it may not suit all type of people because it comes down to what type of character you are because you seem like a very calm and relaxed person maybe you're pretending but uh, but I think you know the image of traders I have in my mind is someone that's very yeah slightly erratic and yeah. you don't you don't strike me as that kind of person <laughs> maybe you are I don't know. yeah well I I it's because well that's that's probably why trading suits me yeah. because you know I, I'm just generally a bit chilled out but you know uh, like I said you, you you need to be able to understand yourself. Uh, might sound a bit more philosophical than trading, but you need to understand yourself what, what kind of person you are. I mean, if you're the kind of person who just don't like dealing with people uh, and don't like managing people, anything like that, then trading might be suitable for you because you are making money. It can be good money by just doing, just interacting with the computer. But then again, if you're the kind of person who who likes to interact, who are very active, uh, like to be out and about, then you just go crazy, bonkers, yeah. sitting in front of the computer eight hours a day. You know, so it comes down to the type of person you are. And what would you say to your children if they said they wanted to become traders? Well, uh, I wouldn't discourage them. At the same time, I wouldn't encourage them. Uh, I think it would. I would like to see how, if somebody comes to me, for example, be it my children or not, and say I want to become a trader, I would um, let them try it out. You know, and see how how things play out, yeah. whether it suits them or not, and uh, and also it goes by. I mean, you, you've asked about my children in particular. I, I would know what type of you know character they are, um, and uh, I would sort of would be able to know whether that would suit uh, for that particular individual yeah. to make a living out of it or not. So, do you think you'll ever get to the point where you're sitting on the beach, sipping a cocktail, and trading off your phone? Uh, no, because I think that's a myth. Um, I know a lot of uh, trading tutors or, or trainers out there uh, try and project this image where you can be a successful trader by just analyzing the market maybe 30 minutes a day or probably even less uh, and you can and the money will start rolling in. I don't think that is the case. In, in my personal view, I think if, you're, if you want to become a serious trader, anyone who's looking at trading seriously, I don't think it can be done on, on your phone or just you know sitting under a pine tree somewhere, uh, or sorry, a palm tree somewhere, <laughs> uh, sipping a cocktail. Because it is, if you want to take it serious, if you want to make serious money, you got to treat it seriously, treat it with respect, treat it as a business, and um, and that's how you make your money. But I don't see myself, you know, sunning it up somewhere and just trading off my phone. No, I don't think that's ever going to happen. Unless perhaps you've done so well that then you stop trading and then you move to a Desert Island, and, and so then you can <laughs> be sitting <laughs> in lockdown. Well, that's a dream to retire <laughs> with lots of money. But yes, I mean, th that's a different thing altogether. It means you're just calling it a day. Anyone can do that from you know working very hard in the city or yeah. as in any career. You can just call it a day and do whatever you want. Yeah. But uh, I don't think you can do. I it is not trading is not easy. They should not think. Uh, nobody should should have this illusion that trading is an easy way to make a lot of money. It's not. It's an easy way to lose a lot of money. Yeah but it's not an easy way to make a lot of money.